Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on this lovely sunny day. We seem to be getting quite a few of these, so uh, I'm not moaning at all. It's really nice to see the sun and have feel a bit of warmth on the bike. Uh, yeah, just a little video today on uh, why I chose the Street Triple 765RS. Oh, that bit of air in. Because there is lots of other bikes available in this category and uh, I have had this bike now for coming on a year and a half actually no it is a, it is a year and a half actually and uh, you know have I had any problems with it no not really um, in fact the only problem I had when I first bought the bike was a little bit of um, uh, I had a bit of a scratch on the bike but that, that was sorted out uh, I don't know how it happened but anyway moving on so why I chose the Street Travel 765 RS because you know you have got the just a 765 um, Street Triple. Thanks, no worries, sir. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'll be perfectly honest. I absolutely love this bike 100%. There's not really a lot I don't like about it. There's a couple of niggles, just a couple of niggles. Um, I don't want to go too much into that today, but. One of the niggles being the fuel filler cap. When you go to fill the bike up, it's annoying. It just keeps flopping forwards. Uh, just need, needed to be hinged back a little bit more. Um, the heated grips, which I, I actually installed myself. Uh, I bought them from Triumph. Genuine accessory. Uh, they don't they don't tend to warm up that well, in my opinion. They do warm up, but yeah. Well, that's another one. But then, you know, we're talking about the bike in general as a whole. I mean, the bike is fully laden with all the bl all the bling. This it's got Olin's on the rear. It has shower suspension, fully adjustable, fully adjustable suspension all round. It has quick shifter, auto blipper. It's a very comfortable bike to ride. Lovely positioned, lovely position. It's got loads of performance, loads of power. And uh, it's a great fun bike to ride. I love the color. I love the styling. Actually, we'll pull over in a minute up here and we'll have a, we'll have a little, we'll pull over here on the grass. It's probably not the best place to stop, but there you go. Um, hopefully it's not going to sink in there too much but yeah look at that I mean what is there not to like hang on I've got the sun in my front of the camera what is there not to like about that bike the styling the Brembo's Brembo's all round on here <laughs> she sounds lovely um, so yeah you got the M50's I think M50 Brembo calibers the MCS master cylinder, which is adjustable for your your span on that one and your ratio on that one, which is uh, yeah would be ideal on the on the track. That what else can I tell you? It's just a brief sort of uh, you know chat about it. Brembo's on the rear. Brakes are absolutely amazing on this bike. You can't fault the brakes at all. <laughs> and the sound is just I, I mean this bike is totally standard. This is at, just out the showroom, other than the, the tail tidy number plate, which I love. I had that put on the bike when I first bought the bike. Um, I mean, look at that. The daytime running lights running across the, you know, the headlights there. Absolutely amazing. Quick shifter, auto blipper, silky smooth, no issues. Uh, seemed a little bit clunky when I was running the bike in. A little bit, you know, hit and miss at times, but other than that, I cannot grumble at all. Tyres, the bike has got the original tyres. I've done about two and a half thousand mile and it is due a service. Although they say it's not due till 10,000 mile. You have got, I have got the spanner light come on on here. As you can see there maybe. Um, so the spanner light is on. And indicating that it requires a service. But it's got the original tyres. Plenty of life left in the tyres. No issues there at all. 
and I love the colour. This bike comes in a couple of different colour variations. This is a 2020 model, this one, and I think now tw for 2022, we're in, aren't we? The time is just going by so quickly. Uh, yeah, 2022 mo uh, models now, I think they're slightly different pa uh, design, you know, stickers and, but same machine. But there is talk, don't know how true this is, I've heard it on the grapevine that there could be another different uh an upgrade to this one to this model uh, i might be wrong but it's just a little whisper of that it's got the original chain and sprockets on here as well uh and if you are new to the channel you probably i, I do ride the bike fairly hard uh <laughs> why wouldn't you uh with all uh, all in the legal limits of course <laughs> it's got to try and make sure i don't get run over here but um yeah i mean what an amazing machine when you buy the bike also it comes with this uh, seat ca cowling here and under here under here you've got your there's a tool kit there's room for your Mackie D's brecky under there no problem but you also what you do get with this machine is you get the uh, the, the passenger seat as well you get that with it as well um, so all good there customer service through Triumph not a problem very good very good to deal with uh, like I say, I haven't, I haven't had too many issues, but you know, very they're very good to deal with. Uh, the bike has obviously been in for its first service, and uh, yeah, no issues at all there. Um, they gave me a loan bike while the bike was in being serviced. Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. But like I say, if you if you if you are if you know contemplating this sort of um, middleweight naked bike. As a, you know, as a, as a contender, if you're looking for a bike, I would highly recommend get yourself out, get get your scrawny backside out, and uh, jump on one and test ride one because you won't be disappointed. No, I don't think you will. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you own one? Have you had any problems with one? You know. But personally, there's not a, there, there isn't a lot not to like about this bike. I have contemplated swapping it for the bigger brother. The uh, speed RS, but I think for this, what you get money-wise for this bike, uh, y you know, I, I think it it's just everything I need, really, everything I need. So, uh, right, I'm going to jump back on and ride some more. But yeah, performance-wise, very, very slick, very, very smooth. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just good all round. It's good all round. And I, I have rode a lot of bikes in the past. Where are you going? <laughs> um, I've rode a lot of bikes. Obviously, if you, if you are a subscriber, you'll you'll know that. Um, and in this category of bike, you know, a lot of the bikes that I ride. You know this. Oh, yeah, it's going to take some beat in this one. Definitely. All the rider modes you've got on here. Loaded, loads of rider modes. Uh, I generally leave it in sport mode. Uh, I've just got used to that. Yeah, used to the performance. Uh, yeah, can't grumble. What a lovely day today. This, this is such a lovely day. I mean, dry. Sun's out. It's relatively warm, lovely countryside, and uh, yeah, what a beautiful day. So, anyway, thanks for joining me there. Um, like I say, consider hitting that subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated to have you along. Loads of more content coming to the channel in the future. And uh, take care. See you soon. <laughs>